Ito ang programang Bawal Ang Piko. Get it straight with Daniel Rosan. Kasama po natin si Yusek Luis Napoleon Casambre, chairman po ng Comelec Advisory Council. Um, yun ba, sir, um, rekomendasyon nyo na yun na sa, sa kanila i-award? Okay ba sa inyo i-award ng, ng Comelec sa Smartmatic yung pag-diagnose dito sa mga uh, PICOS machines uh, na to? Daniel, I have to, I have to decline. Kasi Comelec, hmm. uh, the CAC, is part of the uh, BAC. Nang sab sa bidding. Oh, sa bid sa awards committee. No? Oh, no, ay, wala nga bidding to eh. Yes, but diba? it did go through. I, I think nag, nag uh, it did a, a failed bidding or something. Uh-huh. Uh, but sa procurement na, uh -oh. uh, we shouldn't be uh, talking about it. Then. Pero yung procurement po na uh, mga negotiated, kasali din kayo. Ganun ba? Uh, we are part of the bids and awards committee as a non-voting member. Oh, kasi pagka uh -oh. bids and awards, uh, ibig sabihin nun, may bidding. Uh, kasi not necessarily. Bids and awards. Oh, not okay. necessarily. Okay, so even kahit na yung mga even negotiated. Goes, even if it, uh, according to procurement law, these are alternative modes of procurement. No? Okay. But it still has to pass to the back. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, ang trabaho lang ng back, eh, sabihin kung sino, uh, ano, kanino iya, kano ibibigay yung negotiated. Well, um, if, I, if I understand the procurement law properly, no? They also are required to uh, give a resolution saying that no, we cannot do public bidding. You may use uh, negotiated or the the, alter, the other alternatives. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, they decide. So yes. who will be the uh, uh, decision maker? Pagkaganon na ho. Kung alam ba kasi negotiated na. na lang, di ba? It's it's the head of agency na. Oh, so na si, mag mag si chairman brillantes na mag decision don. Uh, I suppose so. Oh, kung uh -oh. sino yung ano. Uh -oh. So, non-voting kayo sa back. Uh -oh. yeah. Kung non-voting, ibig sabihin, meron lang kayo. Well, you give your two cents, no? Okay. Um, uh, yes, but you cannot vote on any of the uh, yes, issues. Yes, yes. So, so, but were you were you somehow asked as well uh, dito sa pag Well, actually, kung yun, Daniel, eh. for the, uh, at least for the uh, councils that I have chaired, mm -hmm. no? We have not really been participating in the bids and awards committee per se. Nag-observe, mm -mm. no? But uh, as part of the deliberations, hindi kami sumasali unless we are asked. Uh, so you're just the, like an outsider. Yes. Na uh, parang you're looking at it from afar. Parang tinig yeah. na gusto lang namin makita. Pero wala kayong kamay doon. Mm -mm. Oh, well. So mm -mm. kahit na itong ngayon mga susunod na mga bidding pa, kung magkakaroon ng bidding, kasi... Mahali ba na ituro kayo ulit dahil Well, uh, kayo. actually, in a meeting with the um, steering committee, uh, uh, it was the Comelec asked us to already sit in the uh, in their back okay. no, as an active member. So, non -voting, pwede na ba rin? Non-voting no, non pa rin. Pa rin. So, can you say na active tapos non-voting? Um, kasama ka dun sa deli deliber deliberations. Ah, so, Not pwede ka magdaldal. Not during the public. Ano, Alright. Uh -oh. So, pwede ka magdaldal. Pwede yeah. mo ibigay yung opinion mo mm -mm, as regards mm -mm, yung mm -mm. iba't ibang mga yes. bakit, oh, hindi dapat yan, hindi dapat uh -oh. ito, hindi dapat uh -oh. yun. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So, uh -oh. ngayon, sasali na kayo doon. Yeah. Ano ho ba yung susunod na pag-uusapan na kailangan um, ipabid? Kasi, yan ang isa na namang ano eh. Well, I, I think the um, the Comelec has unbundled it then. No? So we have, well, the refurbishing of the machines and there's the purchase of new OMR machines. Mm -hmm. And then there's, I believe there's supposed to be a purchase of a new technology to pilot. No? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the ballots, the printing, the transmission. All of those are separate lots. Eh? Mm -hmm. So ito ngayon yung mga susunod na pag-uusapan kasi may bagong kailang idagdag na machines eh. Mm -mm. Doon sa mga, yung mga, may kailangan idagdag na mga picos. Yes. Uh -huh. Meron kailangan na idagdag. It's either uh, smartmatic pa rin, pareho pa rin yung gagamitin, mm. or kumuha sa iba, magkakaiba-iba na naman. So, meron well, mga gano'n na na, di ba? Kung naman yun, 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 you know, it's like a PC. Yes, yes. So, yes. You can have, uh, there's the, uh, For example, Dell, HP, there are lots of brands, but mm. they do the same thing. No, but no. there are differences when it comes to the operating system, yeah. diba? Well, that's one of the challenges. Oh, no? But, you know, if we really want to open up no, and make sure that hindi naman mano, mo, uh, to, we are not locked in, oh, oh. Yeah, then it is possible naman. Oh, but uh, sometimes, ang, ang pro nagiging problema ho doon, 
Kagaya halimbawa, ang Apple, Apple lang yan, madamo, di ba? Parang hindi mo pwedeng papasukin doon. Or the compatibility of Windows 7 to mm. Windows mm. 10 is uh, somehow, di ba? Medyo yeah. may mga problema. Naman yan, there, you can take mitigating steps. For example, in this precinct, of course, you only use uh, the Smartmatic machines. Mm -hmm. In this precinct, or in this voting center, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ito lang machine, para ma-isolate may mga problems, mm -hmm. di ba? And you will be dealing with different companies. Yes. Uh, okay. na, that later on, pwedeng ikatwiran. Para wala na masyadong problema, dapat sana lang kausap. <laughs> uh, Actually, you know, our first resolution was for the Comelec to examine in the long term. You know, uh, having our own technology. Yes, yes. Kaya naman ang DOST mag-develop. Yeah, well, naman. I think... Actually, our industries can do it. Mm -hmm. you know? It's our election, so mm -hmm. at least the uh, you know those those uh, issues of this our elections not being run using our own technology or mm -hmm. using, be, being run by foreign technology. Eh, mm -hmm. uh, I think this is one case where you know uh, the the country really should have ownership of it. Because mm -hmm. uh, uh -oh. it's like din lang naman na nandadaya din dun sa automated election eh di nadaya ka pa ng foreigner di <laughs> di local na, local na lang din naman daya di ba marami mga marami mga kaisipan but just the same ang uh, nakalatag ho ngayon sa inyong tanggapan para pag-aralan kasi syempre humingi ng advice kasi advisory council kayo eh ano ho yung uh, pinakakailangan ninyo ngayon mabigyan ng advice sa kanila sa Comelec I think the, well, as I mentioned, the next thing is for the uh, certification of the systems, mm -hmm. uh, the source code review. Although, actually, we've already uh, included in our last resolution that we hope that the, we recommend, actually, mm -hmm. that the software review be done sooner. Mm -hmm. no, anyway, we already have the machines. Mm -hmm. So, you know, why we don't have to wait for what is prescribed, the minimum prescribed by the law. Mm -hmm. We can actually start doing it now, mm -hmm. um, and to require that it, for the building of the new machines, eh, these questions about availability of, so, of the source code, who mm -hmm. has the uh, uh, intel intellectual property rights, and eh, that must must settle mm -hmm. before the bidding. Oh, dahil ba kama maya ay sa sabi na naman ay hindi niyo pa din pake alaman yan. Yes. Kasi amin yan. So hanggang ngayon wala parin hong resolution don na talagang nagbibigay ng tuldok na de na sa amin na binili na namin na sa amin na karapatan. Kasi parang may tono ng pananakot yun. Hindi niyo pa din galaw niya. Kami lang ang pwedeng gumalaw yan. Dahil pag ginalaw niyo yan, yes. Eh pwede namin kayo yung idimanda ng infringement. So wala parin hong ano yon. Wala parin hong sagot yon. Um, Kasi if that will be the case, parang nakatali ka na sa kanila. As far as we're concerned, that was actually a requirement. Uh -huh. you know? uh, the, the government is concerned. That's actually a requirement. The problem is that I think there's litigation between two parties, mm -mm. actually even abroad. You know? mm -mm. Uh, but to be fair, actually they have been cooperative. Mm -hmm. you know? But you know, the, uh, it cannot be as open as we had hoped it would be. Mm -mm. So, Bakit malakas ba talaga ang Smartmatic sa, sa kanino ba? Meron ba? Ano, <laughs> hindi ko alam yan. Wala namang, ano, wala namang, uh, hindi nyo ba napapag-aralan yun? Para ma-advise nyo din naman sila. Yata technology yun doon yun. Uh, ba bakit, uh, <laughs> hindi, technology ginagawa ng Smartmatic eh. <laughs> oh, hindi ba? At technology din naman kung paano ka magpapalakas. <laughs> <laughs> pero, pero itong mga sistema na to, convinced ba kayo talaga na Ito pinaka-effective na ano? Ito pinaka-effective na yun na gawe? Well, um, mahirap yung pinaka eh, no? Mm -hmm. But uh, the thing is, no, the electorate is sanay na sila sa OMR. We've done it three times. Mm -hmm. So they have an idea of the process, what the machine does, what the issues are. Mm -hmm. no? um, one of the common practices in industry, no? for example, with regards to software is we do not change the software whenever there's a new uh, version that comes out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Why? Because we already know where the problems are with this version, mm -hmm. okay? And we know how to get around those problems, how to solve those problems. You know, bug fixes. Yes. Oh. If you have a new version, naayos nga ito, baka, no? Malamang mm -hmm. naayos yung nandito. Pero in all likelihood, there will be new bugs in there. Mm -hmm. 
No? So, it, uh, sometimes it's better to stay with existing, sabi mo ng buggy system. Mm-hmm. Pero alam mo kung nasan yung mga buggy. Hmm. But, you can countermeasure against. But uh, alam niyo, mayroong mga ano din yan minsan eh. Diba, napagka dumating yung certain period of time na ganito, eh, dinidestroy niya yung sarili niya. Para, <laughs> ano, di ba, business, ano, bi- business strategy, di ba? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, parang mga baterya ng kotse. After eh, exactly two years, eh, uh, nag-off, di ba? <laughs> exactly. At, uh, at meron talagang ano, parang yung mga nag-self-destruct siya. Uh, tapos hindi naman compatible well, sa bago. Um, In the code review naman, wala naman nakitang gano'n. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so far, ano pa rin, yeah. uh, di, yeah. diretso pa rin. Uh-huh. Eh, ito ho ngayong uh, magiging ano natin, uh, kasi sa mga advice na binibigay ninyo sa kanila, paano natin maia-assure ngayon ang ating mga kababayan na hindi kayo magiging cause ng delay? Um, well, the council tries to meet regularly uh-huh. and respond as quickly as we can to the requirements of the common. O wala ba kayong required period of time talaga na dapat pagdating ng ganito, uh, nakapag-advise na kayo? Kasi parang lum- lumilitaw, ho, you can buy your sweet time na uh, kung kailan nyo well, gustong... Well, kung doon Actually, the law does prescribe some uh, uh, deadlines. Mm-mm. But actually, right, uh, for this this election, Mm-mm. we're way ahead of the schedule. Okay. Uh, po, paano'ng way ahead of schedule kayo tapos biglang nag-negotiated dito sa diagnostics? Uh, I don't think it was a schedule kung bakit nag... Uh, Hindi, yun ang sabi ni... ni chairman? chairman eh. Sabi niya, eh, kasi mabagal sila dun sa ano. <laughs> Una, But, ang gusto ika namin, bago lahat. Mm-mm, Tapos mm-mm. sila, ang gusto naman ni ika nila, eh, gamitin, ano, yung mga, gamitin yung mga luma. So, ipapadiagnose pa ng ano. Eh, nilabas naman nila yung desisyon nila, late na. So, wala na kami, gahul na kami ika sa panahon. At uh, kaya ika, kaya inano na lang namin. Iyan lang naman yan. First stage lang naman at saka mm-hmm. diagnostics mm-hmm. lang naman. Pagbigyan ko kayo ng kopya para mapanood nyo. <laughs> oh, eh, di, di, parang baka bukas makalawa kasi, kayo na naman ituturo, kaya negotiated na lahat <laughs> mangyayari. Wala nang bidding. Hindi naman. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, I, I think we have more than enough time. Okay. No? to uh, settle the uh, what the technologies we will use. So, um, I, I think the uh, what the Comelec is doing uh, the, the the preparations for the 2016 elections are well in advance. No, we're we're doing much better than we did before. So ano ho bang Siguro si chairman he wanted to do much much better. In uh-huh. fact, they had actually written to me as early as December 2014. No. Uh But we said, we, we want to do a technology fair. Mm-hmm. So that's why it came, uh, napunta sa July. Mm-hmm. So, pero ano bang technology ngayon ng pinag-aaralan pa ho ninyo? Uh, well, there's also, of course, there's still DRE. No? Mm-hmm. Yung direct uh, recording. Yung, yung touch screen. Mm-hmm. No? Uh, but there's another technology, yung internet voting. So ito, pinag-aaralan, ni, also pinag-aaralan nyo to be applied on the 2016 election? Uh, yes, actually, it's, in, it's part of the recommendation already. Okay, so uh, ano ano yun? Yung, yung DRE? DRE, yeah. uh, DRE so, and tapos, the uh, online internet voting. Actually, the internet, ano yung online internet voting? Um, you vote via the internet. Okay, you cast so, your vote. So, hindi na ako pupunta sa You don't have to go procinto. to the... Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Na ako. It's really meant, Daniel, for the overseas workers. Okay. No? Mm-hmm. But... Actually, if you think about it, there's no reason why it cannot be applied. Sa ano, lokal. Yeah, dahil sa lokal. Uh, ma- uh, marami na naman ngayon mga internet, kahit yeah. nga sa cellphone. Well, uh, we still have to work on that. Mm-hmm. No? But it is a technology that is on the horizon that we should look at mm-hmm. for the long term. No? No, per- na pwedeng umpisahan yes. sa 2016. Yes. Uh, In fact, okay. it's mandated for the overseas workers. Oh, sa so overseas workers, mm-hmm. pero iba yung dito sa atin. So, DRE plus uh, the internet voting. Yes, uh-huh. Do, those are the two technologies that you're looking at kung sakasakali po na i-apply yes, yeah. sa ano. Mm-mm. Kung halimbawa po na mag-decide na gamitin yung DRE or the internet, uh, anong magiging ano nito, repercussion nito? Uh, will that mean na additional expenses? Yes. Will that mean mm-hmm. cut sa expenses or a- ano ho bang ano? Well, uh, actually DRE is a lot more expensive than the OMR. 
Okay. Kasi it's like every voter has to have uh, a voting station. Mm -hmm. Hindi lang you have a machine that can read all the ballots for for So DRE ano yun? Dot, 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 dot system. So ito yung mga yes, uh, mga TS, mga touch screen yes, na mga computers uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, yes. that you need to uh, procure. That would, that would be need to procure. Uh -oh. procured, no? um, yeah, so that, that would be more expensive. Actually, we have, I believe the country has used it in 2009. Mm -hmm. no? um, it was um, piloted uh, somewhere in Mindanao, I believe. Mm -hmm. no? But of course, during that time, Siyempre, napakamahal. Technology is, you know, advanced. Mm -hmm. Maybe, it's already viable. Mm -hmm. no? Ngayon. It, it's something we should consider. So, what will happen dun sa ibang mga, kagaya niyan, yung mga machines na meron tayo ngayon? Well, kung naman yan eh, may, may lifetime naman talaga yung mga machines. Eh. Uh -huh. no? After a certain period, in fact, sa industry, if, if uh, for example, computers that you use every day, three years lang ang economic life niyan. Mm -hmm. After that, you replace it. So if we are going to make use of the DRE or the internet voting, uh, wala nang use itong ipinadadiagnose natin? No, no. For this election, it's fine. Uh, okay. They're still good. Mm -hmm. Well, most of them will still be good. Mm -hmm. And we also have to consider, aside from the cost, the, kwan, the familiarity of the electorate. Uh -huh. Kasi yun naman yung, kwan, eh. yun naman yung, talaga yung purpose. Mm -hmm. eh. uh, the application of technology, no? may mga bago naman yan eh. So, you, you keep your mind open. You try to look for better solutions. But, so, DRE and uh, internet voting, kalimutan muna natin for the 2016 election. Uh, I think they will be piloted. Uh -huh. we, In some areas. Yes, uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. parang uh, umpisahan na natin na uh, mag-introduce. Uh, test. Pilot test. No? Uh, okay. you, you know, see okay. if it's effective. Yes, no? yes. that would be your recommendation. So, saan, yes. uh, gaano kalaki pong uh, uh, ang tingin ninyo na pwedeng i-pilot yan? Well, the recommendation that we gave in June uh, recommended that they pilot the new technology in at least one voting center mm -hmm. with at least 20,000 voters. With at least 20,000 yes, voters. Uh, but they do it here in a metropolis. So, uh -huh. medyo, medyo, kwan, mas ICT ready yung mga tao. Mm -hmm. No? Mas, mas uh, exposed sa computers yes, uh -huh. and all. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, ito yung wala pang pinal, ano? wala, pang, wala, pa. wala pang ano dito. Uh, and uh, as to whether tatanggapin ng COMELEC yung recommendation ninyo or not, eh, nasa kanila pa rin ang pagpapasya. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, at uh, kung hindi nila tanggapin ang advice ninyo, wala kayong magagawa. Yes. Well, uh -huh. they are the mandated body to at handle least, the election. At least, so, eh, nagbigay kayo ng advice. Yes. Pero pwede yeah. nila kayong ituro na cause ng delay. Maraming salamat po. Good luck po, good luck po. Salamat po, salamat po. DOST's Information and Communications Technology Office Executive Director and Comelec Advisory Council Chairman Undersecretary Luis Napoleon Casambre. Dito lang po sa programang Bawal Ampikon. Get it straight with Daniel Razon. Thank you.